What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm doing Bonahaven, 18 year old. All right. This is an Isla Scotch, but it has very little, if any, peat in it. I've been tasting it the last few days. I bought it probably about a week ago now. And I don't notice very much peat at all, to be honest with you. It's kind of interesting because on the box and on the bottle, it's covered up the alcohol percentage by volume. All right, it's supposed to say 46. Point seven percent or something like that and on the box as well there's a sticker that has the new percentage which says 45.6 percent I'm not sure if you guys can see that now I complain about the LCBO quite a bit and as far as I know this is just happening in Ontario and the reason for this is LCBO really puts a lot of money into their lab and they test various alcohols and the alcohol level. This is one of their vintages now. It's a vintage release. And based on the batch that they tested, they found out that it was actually, like I said, 45.6% alcohol, 45.6%. Um, it's still unchill filtered, natural color, all those things, but they're not gonna put a product out on the shelf on purpose that they know is less or more alcohol percentage than it says on the bottle, which is why they had to black it out. And I'm curious, if you live in another country and recently bought the new batch of Bonahaven, let me know if your alcohol ABV, or sorry, your the percentage has been blacked out because clearly mine has, and they covered it up on the box as well with this sticker. I thought that was pretty interesting. Doesn't change the fact that this is very good whiskey. But before we get into the whiskey, I wanna give a huge shout out to Bubba and the Beard. They are American whiskey reviewers. They focus a lot on bourbons. They're doing an awesome job. They're really, really funny. They uh, have like awesome banter back and forth. Their channel is really growing. They've only been around for a little while and they're doing really well. I really like them. Super, super cool guys. They sent me these samples. One of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. All right, and they got their lovely symbol at the top. And the other of Stag Jr. All right, both of these are extremely hard to come by where I'm from, so I'm very, very grateful for these. Not only did they send me those samples, but I got a lovely surprise for your face blanket. Of course, if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, you know that every once in a while I grow out a beard, and there's these lovely Bubba and the Beard beard supplies. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that from there. Really, really cool stuff. <clears throat> Some bombs and a, a beautiful comb and a whole bunch of other stuff. They're doing a really cool job with this stuff, with the way they package their samples in general. Super, super cool guys, super funny reviewers. I highly, highly recommend you guys check them out. All right, Bubba in the Beard, you're awesome. Before I go on any further, as you can tell, I'm wearing my new uh, New Era Whiskey in the Six hat. This one is a fitted small medium. I have these snapbacks, all right, with the white six snapback. I have the fitted large, extra large in black. I have the large, extra large in white. And I have the snapback still in black as well. All right, check them out. 
on my Twitter page, on my Instagram and Facebook. If you like them, they're both they're thirty five dollars Canadian. Let me know if you want one. You can uh, direct message me on Instagram or you can personal message me on Facebook. Still learning the lingo, and uh, we can sort that out. If you're not from the Toronto area, unfortunately, I'll have to ship that to you and. It should only be about five, six bucks. It's very light, but let me know. Let me know if you're interested. Um, one more thing. What else did I have to talk to you guys about? Bubba in the beard, whiskey in the six hats. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Wanna have an 18 year old? So like I said, very, very little pee, if any. I'm sure there's a a little bit in here. It's got a very tradi traditional type style to it in a lot of ways. It kind of reminds me of Tomatin, 18 year old. You get raisins, you definitely know that there's sherry in there. There's probably a bourbon cask influence as well. Dark fruit. It's got like a mouth-watering smell to it because it's very, very nice. Definitely some spices, a little bit of wood spice. Some cinnamon. Possibly some dark chocolate. On the palate. Sweet upon entry, a lot of orange mid palate that tapers into a bit of like an orange peel oakiness. And then the oak finishes pretty strong, but in a nice way. Okay. There's a bit of oak bitterness, but I found <clears throat> the bitterness of that, that uh, finish lightens as the bottle's been open for a little while. Every time I taste it, it's a little less bitter. But definitely oak forward <clears throat> and a little bit of smoke to it. Oranges. Some dark fruits in there, raisins for sure. I want to say very ripe plums, some dark chocolate, and cinnamon on the back end. All right. One more taste. Like I said, it's it's unchill filtered, no added color. It does have a nice mouth feel, but it's not overly buttery on the mouth. Okay. Um, and you get a lot of that like orange peel, candied orange peel type taste. Um, but it's it is pretty like dark tasting, like some dark raisins, chocolate, mostly on the dark chocolate side. And then like I said, finishes strong with some cinnamon. Okay. Um, so just to go over my scoring again a little bit, an A minus for me is about an 80 to an 83. An A is about an 84 to an 89, and then A plus is 90 and above. Um, originally I probably would have given this a low A in my notebook, probably around like an 84. Okay, so that's an A for me, and it stays an A, but it's much higher as the bottle has been, um, as I've tried it and it's opened up a little bit. Okay, so it's really good. It's not 
the best 18 year old whiskey I've ever had. It's right there in the 87 range. So it's an A for me for sure. Um, but there are better 18 year old whiskeys out there. This is a reasonable price at the LCBO anyway for about $170. Okay, it's definitely cheaper in the United States, definitely cheaper in the UK, but good stuff, all right? For the price, for what's available around that price range, the fact that it comes in a really, really nice black black bottle, um, it's unchill filtered, it's natural color, it's an Isla Scotch, all right? All these things factor into it being, you know, definitely a decent buy at around $170, especially if you're from Ontario. Um, we can stomach those kinds of prices a little bit better than others just because we're so used to getting overcharged for our scotch based on LCBO prices. So, not sure why exactly that alcohol number has been blacked out. I'm assuming it's because it's incorrect. I could be wrong. I hope that they tested an entire batch before they decide to black out every bottle because it, it's possible that one bottle was only 50 or sorry 45.6 percent i'm not 100 percent sure i need confirmation from you guys because i don't know what else is out there i only know from the ones that i was going to purchase all right so let me know if if uh, yours comes in a little bit lower now than it used to i think it used to be bottled at 63 sorry 60 46.3%, now it's 45.6, all right? So not a huge difference, but a difference, all right? And I'm wondering why that has been blacked out. Also, what I will add is for 45.6%, it does need a couple drops of water if you wanna lessen that heat. There's a bit of heat mid-palate, all right? Um, it comes in a bit hot, but it's really good scotch. I'm really looking forward to these bourbons that Bubba and the Beard sent me. Super, super cool guys, super, super cool of them. Like I've said before, this community is awesome. All right, the reviewers that are doing whiskey nowadays, they're all really, really nice guys. Um, how can you not be nice, I guess, when you're reviewing whiskey as your part-time job or for a hobby? Um, but, I mean, there are guys out there that don't really connect with the whiskey reviewing community and I mean, that's their prerogative, but really, really nice guys. Okay, Bubba and the Beard are awesome. Trenny and C as well, they're awesome. All right, there's a whole bunch. Okay, Malted in Montreal, um, Whiskey Whistle, and of course, the Scotch Test Dummies. Those are all my favorites, uh, but there are some other nice guys out there as well. All right, uh, oh, and Seattle. I'm not gonna forget about you, buddy. Okay, but like I said, this is an A, if, I believe Bubba and the Beard are selling their beard merchandise now. So check out their YouTube channel first to be able to purchase their beard stuff because it's pretty cool. The beard, the, my wife's like, that's an awesome comb. So even she likes it. Um, what else is I gonna say? Next week I have my Cavalon Sherry Solist, all right. This is the Sherry Cask Solist, different than the other Sherry Oak that I did of Cavalon, all right. This one's bottled at 57.8%. That's not the only difference, okay. The Solist is a, an entirely different line than the uh, Sherry Oak, all right. So I wanted to straighten that out. I don't know if I made that clear in the review, but now you know. And last look at these hats. All right, there's the white, there's the black. Okay, and the snap, uh, the snapbacks look like this. All right, let me know what you guys think. Cheers.